Hello, this is just going to be a quick unscripted episode today for the podcast. Uh, there's been a lot of things happening here with my channel and with Gamers Bay. A lot of stuff going on around our place here that has gotten in the way of me updating the stories. And I never know when I'm going to have time to actually work on anything, any of the stories or anything. So I can't guarantee anything that I'm about to say as to whether or not I'm going to be able to get anything out this month. I like to try at least to get at least one chapter out a month, but that's been difficult lately. But things are happening that are going to make it a lot easier for me to be able to do that. Uh, one of the things that's going on, and let's cover that here, is we're building a machine for specifically streaming, and we are also going to have uh, use of green screen with that. So if you watched the Chloe cast recently, you'll know that all that's going on. It'll take a while for all that to get set up. And I'll be doing fan fiction multiverse podcasts a little differently in the future. Now, as to the stories, I spoke with, I forget the person's name, I spoke with someone in uh, text messages in fanfiction.net and told them that I would be releasing a new chapter for Nindo the Force. I intend to get that new chapter out. This is the chapter where Naruto travels to Coruscant with the delegation from Naboo where he meets with the Jedi Council and he meets Senator Palpatine there and everything before they all leave to go back to Naboo and fight against the Trade Federation. The next chapter after that will cover that battle, the Battle of Naboo. And then after that, uh, a few other books, a few other chapters after that, and then that will conclude book two. Book three will take place during the time gap between Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clones. That time that where Anakin was training under Obi-Wan, and we know very little about exactly what happened during that time. I'm not aware of any books that were written that covered that particular time period. We do know that a few things happened between Anakin and Obi-Wan then. I mean, they ran into Gondarks, which are pretty nasty. If you saw that episode of Clone Wars, um, it was a pretty epic scene with R2 in that, uh, in that episode. Uh, some other things I hope to be able to get updated this month is Beneath the Crimson Sky. I have been really fleshing out, you know, behind the scenes, I've been really fleshing out the lore for this universe. It's it's the most fleshed out universe I have done for a fan fiction ever of all the stories I've ever written. I've got a creation myth, I've got a partial history of everything. It's like really really detailed the details of all the different races of vampires and and how the underworld relates to the human world and everything i mean i have really fleshed out a lot of stuff and book two it will cover the whole confrontation with dracula and it will also be used for world building for getting the lore out that will either come through dialogue with characters or through narration and story. I find different creative ways. That way you don't have these long stretches of exposition where Ranma's sitting down with people and explaining things all the time. Some stories can get bogged down with that pretty badly. So I wanted to try and avoid a lot of that with this. Uh, the Promise, I did release one chapter of that, and I will be trying to get the next chapter of that out. That is the that is essentially a prequel to Beneath the Crimson Sky, but it's also an origin story for uh, two new characters that were recently introduced, which is Baron and Arya. Getting back to Star Wars, um, 
Outer Rim Redemption. I have a partial first draft story written, first draft chapter written, that I'm going to post to the Jim Bader group first before I go back, rewrite a lot of it, and then release on fanfiction.net. This is a prequel to Nindo, the Fo- Nindo of the Force, which takes place uh, a little over a thousand years before that time. It is a Ranma-centric story where he is a former Sith, and he's living with that fact. He was taken from his homeworld, forced to train in the dark side, and now he's living with with um, with all of that as a bounty hunter in the Outer Rim. So Outer Rim Redemption is going to be a pretty uh, pretty interesting and pretty heavy story. Um, the first chapter, I've got it partially done, and I'm going to release that to the Jim Bader group. So if you're a member of that group on Yahoo Groups, and you're interested in getting, you know, um, entering, go, getting into discussions with people on fan fiction, and also, you know, getting early rough draft releases of stories from me and and several other writers join that group and you'll be able to um, give us input into the stories and you'll be able to get a sneak peek at at what's coming Um, as for as speaking of sneak peeks something hentai this way comes uh, the story that was going to be the Succubus Diaries, that's what Something Hentai This Way Comes is going to be now. And WTF is a spinoff of that story that is set 10,000 years in the future. So that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I don't have to rewrite the first chapter because um, I didn't do anything that actually cemented what the lore would be in that first chapter yet. Now, Something Hentai This Way Comes is an alternate reality to um, Beneath the Crimson Sky. It's an alternate version of that reality. The only difference is, is that Ron was not a vampire, he's something else. So, look forward to that. I cannot guarantee when I will be getting this out. As I said, I can't really guarantee exactly when I'm going to be able to write anything. Uh, But I'm going to do my best to try and get out the Star Wars update at least. Uh, There's a lot of stuff going on here. I just finished the big house project that had to be done. And we're going to start another one soon because we're going to be getting the parts for that new computer for streaming and it's going to be a it's going to be a a server for us it's going to handle our plex server it's going to be a file server we're going to run our own wiki on it for our own internal use for us to basically keep track of project information and, and everything i've got a lot of my story lore from other stories in that wiki so we have to restore all that so that i can get that information again and uh, it's also going to be used for streaming games. And I will use a green screen with a good 1080p camera with that. So a lot of the videos that I produce are going to be better because of it. As for future projects, nothing I want to really go over right now. I've talked of some stuff. I, I always come up with new ideas and I never really have the time to work on it all. And so when I do, I usually share those new ideas with everybody on the Jim Bader group. I'm always constantly coming up with new ideas, but I can't work on it all because if I do, I'll just have so many stories, I can't update anything. And that's partially the problem that I had before. So that's why I'm sticking to four core stories right now, and then I may jump over to some other stories later on when I have a little more time to work on things. So that pretty much concludes today's episode. I know this was a little off the cuff. Last, um, I usually have a 
uh, a script for these podcasts, but I wanted to get this out quickly so that everybody knows exactly what's going on with the stories, why there hasn't been any updates for a while, and that I am wanting to get some kind of update out soon. At least by the end of this month. It's still really early this month, so I want to get something out. I want to get something written. Solo is coming out this month, and I'm going to be going to see that in IMAX 3D. I saw Infinity War earlier. I don't know if I'll do anything with Marvel. I've been wanting to do something with DC. That's part of one of the um, future projects I've been wanting to work on. Something that is a DC Ron Mahaff uh, sort of story. So, I'll talk about that at length in a future episode. I may do another podcast that basically covers um, in greater detail a lot of stuff that I want to work on in the future. And I think I might do that. I may release another episode of this this month. Where I go into much, much deeper detail of what I'm wanting to do. A lot more detail into the lore of the stories that I've been writing. Because there is so much there. So, thanks for what, thanks for watching. This has been Mike Zorch. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time.